in my sleep, I heard the tickling of bicycle bells. The euphoria in the village pierced through my eardrums and shook the weak foundation of my frail, muddy heart. Onto our village they came. From where? No one could guess. I jumped off my rickety bamboo bed to see what has caused the tremor beneath our village. Guess who it was in our village? It was the politician with his poverty alleviated party, PAP. I can filled my heart for the illiterate folks of your passing. Tears engulfed me to see how sudden we forget our memories wiped away by the politician's bag of rice, pair of Wellington boots with two bottles of schnapp, two tabina blood roll, and roofing sheets for the village palace. My conscience flashed back. It is almost four years ago, but he are still fresh on my mind. When the politicians crossed River Alapa, I mean River Nkotombo, the river of deceit, to plead for our votes, they spoke with a tongue of angels and corners with the power of charisma. We thought they were Christ's own incarnates. The whole village of their passing fell under their spell. The politician, like the soothsayers of their passing, who upon seeing the clouds predicted bountiful harvest, yet died of hunger and thirst. They promised to build bridges where there were no rivers. Poverty alleviated party, promises feed our roads and light. But came to Yampasem on bicycles at sunrise. Politicians everywhere. From his manner, and heaven goes disarray. There'll be chaos when a palm wine tapper wants to be president. A leopard does not utter its spots. So as a rebel leader can never be a politician. If a warlord of Musu clads himself in suit to mount a political platform, he will surely be reckon of grenade and gunpowder. Whilst his enthusiastic followers draw swords and spears, burning palaces, was in mayhem. Their political leaders will be frothing their mustache with palm wine and with hysterical laughters at Ijaku's palm wine bees. <laughs> Nkrumah is gone with time. Pahakwesi and Misata is gone with time. Dr. Aliu Maham is also gone with time. But the person who still remain with its past memories. Go to your great grandfather's graves and ask if they ever knew of someone called the politician. Yes, they will respond. But also be quick to add if there is someone we need not to trust, then it is the politician. Know them. Know who they are. Never follow politicians blindly and cause mayhem. Let this year's election be violence free. Remember, Ghana belongs to all of us.